This is the Dyla Corn Spike 53 SP. This thing caught my eye up at Jones's tackle the other week when I was thinking about looking for brim cranks and that sort of thing, and it's been fishing really, really well for me. I was looking at using it around the rock bars and the rock walls out around the mouths of the Tweed and the Seaway on the Gold Coast, but I've ended up catching a lot of flathead on this thing and a fair bit of bycatch too with, um, I think I've got a Luric and some queen fish as well. Let's have a look at it. The bib on it gets it down there to around about that two meter mark and you can see the profile of it. It's really, really realistic as a small bait fish pattern. The color schemes that Dai was gone for in these new tournament ones is just awesome. There's so many realistic patterns. This one's the um, brown suji shrimp, but there's some awesome, like a sushi prawn, and my other favorite is the purple sushi prawn as well. They're just a lot more defined and a much superior finished compared to the old spikes that they released. The other design features of these hooks, which this one's been caned over the last few weeks, and so it's starting to just get some surface corrosion on them, but the hooks that they've designed, these sac sass um, hook design that the dyer is talking about now means that there's supposed to be about a 40% better hook penetration is the way that they've marketed it and a little bit better corrosion resistance which it's a bit unfair to show this one because I've been using it heaps and it has got some rust there you can see but they are a lot better than just your regular chemically sharpened hooks and the nickel ones and that sort of thing. The design features internally, it's got a casting chamber with a ball that rolls right to the back and they cast really, really well. And so I was using this on a really blowy day out near the seaway and it was still firing pretty true, suspending really, really well. And that's why I really like it. So you can get it down there and suspend this thing. It's dynamite on flathead and I reckon the bass are going to love it as well. And even though I bought it for brim, I've ended up using it a lot just trolling for flathead and done quite well so I think I paid about 14 bucks for this thing given the quality of the componentry I reckon it's definitely worth it and the finish on it I love this little black eye here just the way that it has a really tight repetitive action through the water but just that side to side action is really really effective so it gets down there to around about that two meters it's five grams in weight and 53 millimeters long so if you're looking at it on an iPhone I've just zoomed in so it's the exact size that you're seeing it on your screen the tournament spike by Daiwa, fantastic. I had a look at them at the after trade show as well. There's a whole heap of good stuff by Daiwa coming out, which is really exciting. Even smaller stuff, which is just going to be dynamite on brim. This is probably for those bigger brim, flathead and bass and that sort of thing. But yeah, if you get online and have a look at their range, there's certainly some stuff there that you can go and spend some cash on. I think I've got a little bit of footage here of some of the action of me bringing fish in or some of the photos. If you just have a look at this, there's some flathead. It's just been taken exactly where I like to use these things. Just along the edges of these rock bars where it drops down to sand. What a beauty.